Hello lovelies, happy to have you all back with me today. We are making delicious seafood okra. This is simple, direct and tastes absolutely delicious. Let's get it started. Get your well washed okra, cut some to smaller pieces, you can dice some, we're going to leave some chunky, you can just slice some. Okay, so what I have here is my diced and sliced okra now i get that aside get a pot how your crabs will be using this is washed already i'm adding diced onion into it now add some ginger powder oregano it's optional if you don't have oregano no problem add some garlic powder into it add salt and seasoning into it now add some water and bring to boil just let it boil when it get boiled then it is done it's just simple as everything now get another pot pour palm oil into it heat it up and then add some diced onion into it fry this diced onion for about two minutes and now add roughly blended bell pepper and habanero pepper tatashe and atarodo roughly blended and i'm adding my dried fish shower directly into the pepper mix now now i'm going to cover and boil on that low to medium heat let's check our boiled crabs the fragrance is amazing it is boiled and it is ready guys now turn off your cooker and keep it aside let's check the pepper mix this pepper mix is super the fish has added its own flavor into it if you want it hot add more chili powder into it add seasoning if you don't want it all just leave chili powder aside now i've added prawns and some salt okay not so much salt because you know still add some into it okay some things into it so now i had the boiled crabs remember we added some salt so the boiled crab already so that's why you need to gauge the salt not too much salt all right it's now time for you to add any smoked fish i've added smoked salmon i'm adding uh, mackerel roasted mackerel into it now it's not time to add even fresh fish if you want to use fresh fish add it into it okay at this stage now i've added crayfish powder into it now it's now time to just cover and cook for about five minutes Oh, this aroma is everything. This is going to be nothing but yummy. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Now mix it gently. If you're using fresh fish, you don't need to use a spoon to mix it. You just need to carry your pot and shake it around just like this. And at this stage, please taste for salt. Adjust if it is necessary. So get it aside now. Add some water into a fresh pot. I'll be using potash. If you don't have potash, you can use baking soda. Okay, now bring this water to boil. Have so that when it is boiled, had your diced and sliced, chunky, sliced, <laughs> small. <laughs> pieces sliced okra that we did at the beginning add it into the water and boil for about three minutes okay once it starts to bubble like this get your locust beans add it into it if locust beans is available or ogiri just add it into it and give it a good mix okay don't overcook it two or three minutes is okay so now it's bubbling get it aside now get this pepper mix it's now time to add the okra into the sauce if you used fresh fish please take them out before you add your crocro into it now mix gently mix everything together and then just boil everything let it bubble like this for about two to three minutes together guys uh, oh my, don't overcook it you are going to love it you're going to have this chunky feeling and the cheese is everything this is absolutely delicious you need to try it it is simple it is direct and you're going to love it so after two minutes -la -la, it is ready to be served guys you can eat us with pounded yam with gary with uh uh semovita with semolina i'm rocking my with eba yes come and join me thank you so much for watching please remember to share thank you Bye -bye.